Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials, and today we're going to continue to talk about things you can do in your templates. And in this case, we're going to be getting into some built in directives. For this video, we're going to cover NG class, which allows you to set classes conditionally. So that way you can have classes that are being assigned via variables or maybe checking if a variable is true or not. Uh, you can create toggles and things of that nature. So let's get started right now. So to start off, I'm actually going to delete uh, this limit to stuff that we had in here before. I'm going to leave the filter search because that's just fine. And I'm going to go ahead and put this all back on one line. Um, even though it's wrapping, it just looks a little bit nicer. And I'm going to get rid of this class uh, person dot item name business that we were doing before because it's not super relevant from here on out. And I need to finish that up with a quote just like that. And I'm going to get rid of this currency filter that we added in the last video as well because, as you know, age is not really a currency. So, okay, let's save that and let's check out our page. Okay, it looks just like how we remember it from a couple of videos ago. Now what we want to have it is a class that gets applied uh, to each one of these items based on the person's age, okay? So if they're over 30, they're going to get a class that's over hyphen 30. And if they're under 30, they're going to get a class that's under hyphen 30. So to do this, we need to use the ng class directive and we'll be using it on the list item itself. Now I don't have a CSS file or anything associated with this, but I want to give this some style just so we don't have to immediately uh, inspect the element just to see that it is in fact working. So in our head here, I'm going to add a style tag. Um, keep in mind that I normally wouldn't do this, but since I'm just adding two classes here, it's going to be just fine. So we're going to say over 30 and over 30 is going to get a background of red and uh, a color of white. Okay. And we're just going to copy this and we're going to have another class that's under 30 and it's going to be just that disgusting basic default blue color. So it's going to be under 30 and it's going to be blue blue with a color of white as well. Okay, so now we should instantly be able to see when this is working. So we have over 30 and under 30. Now on our list item, I'm going to come down here, I'm going to hit enter uh, just before the uh, closing tag here. And I'm going to put this on a separate line just so you can see it nice and easy. Uh, it depends on how you have your word wrapping set up in your document. If you have it, uh, uh, however you like to code, you can certainly do this. For this example, I'm just going to show you in a way that is easy to see. So we're going to say ng hyphen class. Okay, now for ng hyphen class, we can say equals and then we need quotes. Now this is where it gets a little confusing because ng class is a little bit different than a lot of directives. You can't just pass it uh, a conditional and have it completely work. What we need to do is we need to say something like curly brackets, open and close, and then single quotes because we're within double quotes here. And now this is going to be the name of the class you want to apply. Now here we can say over hyphen 30, just like that. And now we can have a colon after the quote. And now we want to have our actual conditional statement. So we can say item dot age. And that's going to be as long as they're over greater than 30. And it's going to be greater than 30. So what this is saying is if item dot age is greater than 30, then get the class over 30. Okay, now if we come to our page and refresh, You'll notice that we have two of our list items uh, now have a background of red and a color of white. If we inspect, not only do we see that uh, we have this ng class expression, but you'll see in the actual HTML we have classes ng binding, ng scope, and over 30, where the other ones don't actually have that over 30. You can see the class just doesn't exist in uh, this ng class, it's actually the Angular system is adding it to your actual HTML class. Okay, so what happens if we want to add our under 30 now? Well, inside of our curly brackets, we can add a comma and then another one. So we can say single quotes under hyphen 30. 
Now again, outside of the single quotes, a colon, and then our expression, which is going to be item dot age is less than 30. Okay, now if we save this and refresh, you'll see that two of our items are getting the blue class and two of our items are getting the red class. If we add somebody new and have them set as 30, they're not gonna get either because we don't have anything for that, okay? So after a refresh, okay, we're back to just these four people. Uh, but what's a, a more concise way we can write this, right? Let's say we wanna include 30 year olds this time. We're gonna rewrite this in a little bit more concise way using uh, ternary operators. So if you're not familiar with ternary operators in JavaScript, you can use them in a bit of a shorthand to write if statements. So let's get rid of all this stuff, including the brackets. I'm actually just gonna delete everything and start fresh. Now what we can say is our expression first, so item.age, if the item.age is greater than 29, uh, keep in mind because we're gonna be including 30 in the over 30 category this time. If item.age is greater than 29, then you put a question mark, which means here are the results, okay? The first result is the true result, so if the item.age is greater than 29, we want them to have the over hyphen 30 class. And then outside of that single quote, we then have a colon and then another set of single quotes. And inside of here, we have our false, uh, our false condition. So uh, they're going to be under hyphen 30. Okay, so the way this works is hits this conditional. It's saying, is this true? If it's true, give me this one. Otherwise, give me this one. And save that. I'm sure maybe put this closing bracket on the same line. Okay, there we go. Now let's head to our HTML here and refresh. And as you can see, we have the exact same result. So, uh, and if you look in our code here, we have our ternary operator in this ng class here. So if you need an either or sort of situation, let's say we're toggling something, then you could possibly use this ternary operator. Now, what's another example? Perhaps you wanna show and hide something. For instance, we may not wanna have these names available all at once. I don't know why you would wanna do that, but let's just, uh, let's just say that you don't wanna see these names unless you request them. So we can have a, I'm just gonna make a button and it's going to be show names. Okay, so now let's head to our JavaScript on my JavaScript, I'm going to add just a variable and it's just gonna be uh, dir list dot toggle. And this is going to be equal to false because we want these names to be hidden first. Okay, dir list dot toggle equals false. Now let's head here. I'm gonna add a CSS class here and it's going to be hidden. And hidden is just going to be getting a display none, okay? So now let's head over to our unordered list here and we can have ng class equals. And then inside of here, we can go ahead and use our single brackets. And inside of our single bracket, our curly brackets, we have single quotes, which can have the class of hidden. And so outside of that, we have the colon like we had before. And here we can add our expression. So before we actually had a conditional if this is greater than this sort of thing. And this time, since we're just checking true or false, all we have to have is the variable name. So we can say dir.list.toggle. Okay, dir.list.toggle is going to give us a true or false value. If this is true, then we're going to get this class of hidden. And if it's false, we're not going to get that class of hidden. However, that's not really what we want. We want it to sort of be in, in terms of when the toggle is toggled, that means we're going to be showing the names, not hiding them. So what we can do is simply add an exclamation point here. And now this is saying, and now what this is saying is if this value is false, then show the class of hidden. If this value is true, then do not show the class. So when we come here, you can see uh, because this is set to false, none of the names are showing. Uh, however, our name show names button isn't rigged up yet. So let's go ahead and add that logic. What we can do on our button is say ng hyphen click. And then in here, we can simply set dir list dot toggle. We can set it equal to true. 
So we've seen ng click before. On this click, we're gonna set this variable that's on our controller to true. Therefore, this is going to be evaluating to uh, false, and therefore our class is not going to be shown. Okay, come here, refresh. Now I click show names, and sure enough, our names are here. I keep clicking show names and nothing else happens because it's keep setting us to true. Well, in the next video, we're going to show you how we can swap this show names button with a high names button whenever we click this, making this a little bit more of a toggle rather than just a turn on and never be able to turn off sort of situation. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment in the video or hit us up at Twitter or Facebook at Level Up Tutorials. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.